welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift store haul for you. So I went ahead and visited two thrift stores near me and picked up some home decor. And I'm going to be showing you how I use these items throughout my home in today's video. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay guys, so I just got back from a couple thrift stores and I wanted to quickly show you what all I got. I found a bunch of stuff. I found all of this for under $100. So it was a really good deal. I got a lot more going to thrift stores than an antique store that I went to last week. So I had um, one of you actually comment to hit up thrift stores over antique stores because it's cheaper and it's so true. Usually I do like to go to thrift stores, but I went ahead and hit one up, this two of them up this weekend and I'm excited to show you what I got. I'm gonna start with this gas can. I really wanted to find one of these for my son's room. I'm going to be doing his room in a garage theme but I'm gonna do it in a really, really cute way. I'm so excited. So I had in mind to find one of these and then I found this for only $10. Next, for only $5, I found this little washboard and I thought this would be really cute to put in my laundry room. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's super cute and I feel like if I would've found this at an antique store, it would've at least been $20 or more. But yeah, it was only $5. Next, I picked up a few cutting boards so just three different sizes and three different shades and they were all each just five dollars now if you guys saw my last video you know i'm looking for a bunch of antique books so i found all of these and these were so cheap so these were probably only like 25 cents or so so i picked up all of these and i really love how worn they look I like the pages, like you can see here. I'll probably have all these um, face outwards like this because I just love the worn page look. Next, this is gonna seem kind of random, but I was actually looking for a little watermelon bit on my daughter's bookshelf. I'll show you a clip of what her bookshelf looks like, and I thought a little watermelon would look so cute next to her alligator books. So I found this, and it was actually part of a set for um, ten dollars, but the lady there said I could have just the watermelon for one dollar <laughs> So I thought this was really cute and it's pretty light color. So it matches her books perfectly Next I got a whole bag full of wooden spoons. I love getting wooden spoons from Restores. These were only like 25 cents each too. I also needed a new whisk next I found these metal measuring spoons and I thought these would be nice to even hang on my kitchen peg shelf. I was really excited about this spoon. I found this one for $3 and I thought this would look really pretty in a glass jar so you can see the wood popping through and then use it as the scooper. Okay, and here's a shot of all the spoons I got. So I actually use wooden spoons all the time when I'm cooking and I like to decorate with them. So I went ahead and just grabbed a ton. Okay, next kind of random, but I got this really cute rustic dustpan. I'm not sure how much this one was. Oh, this was $10. So I'm excited about this. I want to hang up some hooks. I think it'd be really cute to hang an old styled broom and then hang this dustpan up there. I've seen pictures of Liz Mary Galvin's little mud, mud room area where she has some really cute items like this hung up that are functional and super cute. Next, I found this pretty, really big flag. So I'm gonna use this for the 4th of July. I was excited about that one and this was only a dollar. Next, I found this really nice brush. So this brush was only one dollar too. And I thought this would be cute to kind of display in my laundry room or in my bathroom. And it's got really soft bristles. Next, I got this whole bowl set for only eight dollars. So it includes three of these bowls and then one large salad bowl. I'll probably store some fruit or something in this for decoration and it came with a matching little um, utensil. So I thought that was a really good deal, $8 for all of this. Next, I also found some metal measuring cups. I feel like I can never have enough of these and the ones that I do have are plastic. So I found these and these were only 25 cents each. Next, I found this really cute tin bucket and I thought I could put this maybe on my living room shelves. This was only $2 and I thought it'd be really pretty to put a plant, a faux plant or even a real plant inside. I found another ladle, I needed another one. I found, this was before I went to the restore with all those spoons, but I did buy this wooden spoon and this fork. So I think I'm pretty set with 
spoons. Next, I found this little art. I thought this would be cute for my daughter's room. I'm gonna paint it or um, embellish it somehow, make it really girly and put this in my daughter's room on one of her bookshelves. And this was only a dollar. Okay, so next I'm so excited about this, but I do not like the color, but this clock was only $9 and it still works. It says it's been tested. So what I'm gonna do is just paint it black. And this is just beautiful. I may put this in our living room or I may put it on one of our bedside tables. Okay, so next I just unwrapped all of this stuff here. So I thought these, I thought these were really cool. So I got all of these for only 50 cents, but they're little mason jar cups. And my husband and I always use mason jars as cups, but these ones actually have the handle. So I have two smaller ones and then one big one. And these were only 50 cents each. And then for 50 cents, I found this really pretty clear pitcher. And I actually have a white radon pitcher I use all the time to use to pour like with my bone broth and all that. So I'll use this a bunch and I like that it's all glass. So I actually decided to just store some of our bacon grease in this little clear pitcher right next to our stove top. Next, I found some aged terracotta pots. I thought this was really nice because they were already aged. I thought these little ones were so cute and I was looking for some little ones and they already look really worn. Some of them, like these are kind of broken. I think that's so pretty. And they were 25 cents each. So you can't go wrong with that. I know you can get a whole set of these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar for a set of three. And the last time I went into the Dollar Tree, they were out of the little terracotta pots. So I was excited to see these. And then I found this pot, which also feels like the same material as the terracotta pots, but it's just white and it has these little legs on it. And the last things I'm gonna show you are these adorable, adorable candlesticks. So how pretty are these? They're very Victorian-like. I just love them. And they were only $2 for the set of them. So only a dollar. And I already have some white candles I'm planning on putting in those. But yeah, they're just very different and unique. So I was excited to find these. Okay guys, also, I forgot to show you this basket. I already hung it up on this old window pane. This used to be a mug rack, but I've been kind of messing around with it and took all my mugs off and I thought it'd be pretty to hang a basket. Well, I saw this one at the restore for only $5. So yeah, for $5, I thought it was pretty cool, but it's extremely long and skinny. So this was my thought when I first saw it was, hey, maybe it'll look cute over here, but I don't know if maybe I need to like whitewash it or just leave it the way it is. Okay, so here's the hanging basket after I whitewashed it. I think I like it better, but tell me if you would leave this here or if you would just get rid of it. Okay, so that is everything I picked up from the two thrift stores I visited. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful and blessed day.